Hello, welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. We'll be here with you every day throughout the COVID-19 emergency. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. It's good to see you. Today is Sunday, May 17th, the sixth Sunday of Easter. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. We begin with a lighted candle. A candle burning in the darkness has long been a symbol of hope. We light this candle as a sign of our strong hope that God is with us no matter what comes. The candle also reminds us that Jesus said we would be lights for the world. We're called to live generously and graciously, taking care of one another in the name of Jesus. Please join me if you'd like in lighting a candle in your own home now. Let's pray. Almighty and ever-living God, you hold together all things in heaven and on earth. In your great mercy, receive the prayers of all your children and give to all the world the spirit of your truth and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We turn now to the words of Holy Scripture, beginning with the book of Acts, chapter 17. So Paul stood before the Areopagus and said, Men of Athens, I see that you are very religious in all respects. For as I went around and observed closely your objects of worship, I even found an altar with this inscription, To an unknown God. Therefore, what you worship without knowing it, this I proclaim to you, the God who made the world and everything in it, who is Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in temples made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands as if he needed anything, because he himself gives life and breath to everything and everyone. From one man he made every nation of the human race to inhabit the entire earth, determining their set times and the fixed limits of the places where they would live, so that they would search for God and perhaps grope around for him and find him, though he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move about and exist, as even some of your own poets have said. For we too are his... All right. Back to the beginning. Welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. We'll be here with you every day throughout the COVID-19 emergency. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. It's good to see you. Today is Sunday, May 17th, the sixth Sunday of Easter. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. We begin with a lighted candle. A candle burning in the darkness has long been a symbol of hope. We light this candle as a sign of our strong hope that God is with us no matter what comes. The candle also reminds us that Jesus said we would be lights for the world. We are called to live generously and graciously, taking care of one another in the name of Jesus. Please join me if you'd like in lighting a candle in your own home now. Let's pray. Almighty and ever-living God, you hold together all things in heaven and on earth. In your great mercy, receive the prayers of all your children and give to all the world the spirit of your truth and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now we turn to the words of Holy Scripture we begin today with the book of Acts, the 17th chapter.
So Paul stood before the Areopagus and said, Men of Athens, I see that you are very religious in all respects. For as I went around and observed closely your objects of worship, I even found an altar with this inscription, To an unknown God. Therefore, what you worship without knowing it, this I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and everything in it, who is Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in temples made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands as if he needed anything, because he himself gives life and breath and everything to everyone. From one man he made every nation of the human race to inhabit the entire earth, determining their set times and the fixed limits of the places where they would live, so that they would search for God and perhaps grope around for him and find him though he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move about and exist, as even some of your own poets have said, for we too are his offspring. So, since we are God's offspring, we should not think the deity is like gold or silver or stone, an image made by human skill and imagination. Therefore, although God has overlooked such times of ignorance, he now commands all people everywhere to repent because he has set a day on which he is going to judge the world in righteousness by a man whom he designated, having provided proof to everyone by raising him from the dead. Today's psalm is Psalm 66. Praise our God, you nations. Loudly proclaim his praise. He preserves our lives and does not allow our feet to slip. For you, O God, tested us. You purified us like refined silver. You led us into a trap. You caused us to suffer. You allowed men to ride over our heads. We passed through fire and water, but you brought us out into a wide open place. I will enter your temple with burnt sacrifices. I will fulfill the vows I made to you, which my lips uttered, and my mouth spoke while I was in trouble. I will offer up to you fattened animals as burnt sacrifices, along with the smell of sacrificial rams. I will offer cattle and goats. Come, listen, all you who are loyal to God. I will declare what he has done for me. I cried out to him for help and praised him with my tongue. If I had harbored sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. However, God heard, he listened to my prayer. God deserves praise, for he did not reject my prayer or abandon his love for me. Now we turn to the first letter of Peter, the third chapter. For who is going to harm you if you are devoted to what is good? But, in fact, if you happen to suffer for doing what is right, you are blessed. But do not be terrified of them or be shaken. But set Christ apart as Lord in your hearts, and always be ready to give an answer to anyone who asks about the hope you possess. Yet do it with courtesy and respect, keeping a good conscience, so that those who slander your good conduct in Christ may be put to shame when they accuse you. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if God wills it, than for doing evil. Because Christ also suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, to bring you to God by being put to death in the flesh, but by being made alive in the Spirit. In it he went and preached to the spirits in prison, after they were disobedient long ago, when God patiently waited in the days of Noah as an ark was being constructed. In the ark, a few, that is, eight souls, were delivered through water. And this prefigured baptism, which now saves you, not the washing off of physical dirt, but the pledge of a good conscience to God through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who went into heaven and is at the right hand of God with angels and authorities and powers subject to him. And finally, the Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 14th chapter. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, 
you will obey my commandments. Then I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever, the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot accept because it does not know him or see him. But you know him because he resides with you and will be in you. I will not abandon you as orphans. I will come to you. In a little while, the world will not see me any longer, but you will see me. Because I live, you will live too. You will know at that time that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. The person who has my commandments and obeys them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him, and I will reveal myself to him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now that we've been refreshed by God's word, let's take some time to pray together. I'd like to invite you to pray out loud with me. Please don't be embarrassed that you're praying with a video screen. I'm praying with an empty room. And yet, despite the strangeness, our technology is joining us in prayer right now, no matter when and where we are. In that spirit, let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Almighty and merciful God, you are the only source of health and healing. You alone can bring calmness and peace. Grant to all of our neighbors who are ill an awareness of your presence and a strong confidence in you. In their pain, weariness, and anxiety, surround them with your care, protect them by your loving might, and grant to them once again the gifts of health and strength and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of earth and air, water and fire, height and depth, we pray for those who work in danger, who rush in to bring hope and help and comfort when others flee to safety, whose mission is to seek and save, serve and protect, and whose presence embodies the protection of Jesus the Good Shepherd. Give them caution and concern for one another, so that in safety they may do what must be done under your watchful eye. Support them in their courage and dedication that they may continue to save lives, ease pain, and mend the torn fabric of lives and social order. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Compassionate God, support and strengthen all those who reach out in love, concern, and prayer for the sick and distressed. In their acts of compassion, may they know that they are your instruments. In their concerns and fears, may they know your peace. 
in their faithful serving, may they know your steadfast love. May they not grow weary or faint-hearted. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, in the stillness of our souls, we listen for your voice to know again that you are God. Quiet our restless hearts with the knowledge that you are near us, keeping watch over your own. Rekindle our faith and light the lamp of hope within our hearts. Then take us by the hand into each day that lies ahead. For where you lead, we can confidently go with Jesus Christ our Lord, in whose name we pray. Amen. Each day I like to share with you one good thing, a bit of hopeful news, a moment of beauty, a tip to help you through the day. And on Sundays, it's good to sing together. Today's hymn is Charles Wesley's beloved song, Love Divine, All Loves Excelling. It echoes Jesus' teaching to show our love for him through our acts of love toward one another. Wesley's poetry is paired with the uplifting tune, Hifferdal, which name means cheerful. If you have a copy of the Red Evangelical Lutheran Worship at home, you'll find our hymn at number 631, and in the Green Lutheran Book of Worship, it's number 315. And if you have neither hymnal, it'll be right on your screen. You can follow along. Have to get our music. Are you ready? Let's sing. That's one good thing for today. Do you have a good thing you'd like to share with the world? Send us your photos and videos by going to bit.ly slash mygoodthing and share your tips and stories with at Pastor Schaefer on Twitter. I can't wait to hear from you. And that'll do it for now. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with us. We hope it's been a blessing. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. Stop by and visit us online anytime at goodshepherdlife.org, and please consider making a gift to support our ongoing ministry. You'll find our PayPal address on the screen and in our program notes. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>